DoorDash and my first paycheck. Today was the first time I got paid from doing DoorDash. Last week, I got my starter package, which is uh, basically a carry-on bag and uh, a company credit card uh, that you pay for some of the orders with. I actually bought the shirt myself. Uh, but I got the starter kit last Thursday, and I started working at night, Thursday night, Friday night, and then Saturday and Sunday. Uh, I have a full-time job, so I only did this part-time at night and on my off hours on the weekend. So for four days, I made $192, okay? Their work weeks are between Monday to Sunday. So your total is tallied by midnight Sunday, and then you're paid direct deposit Monday morning, and that whole banking process starts. But their pay period is Monday through Sunday. So I work Thursday through Sunday, and I made a total of 11 deliveries and a total of $192.08, I believe. So here's the key metric, though. I made $192. How much time did I spend? Uh, because, again, you're exchanging your time for money. That's any job. Uh, I spent approximately 19 hours uh, door dashing. So if you divide 192 by 19, I pretty much made $10 an hour before deducting for gas and wear and tear. After you deduct from gas and wear and tear, I'm probably around minimum wage, $7 or so. That's if you did it for hourly. But here, you got to take this into mind. A lot of the dashing that I did on the weekend, because I'm still learning, I did during the day and I was just sitting and waiting. When you dash at night uh, during dinner time and during lunch time, the orders keep coming in. And now that I know that, I'll kind of schedule around that. You have two options. You can schedule uh, a DoorDash shift if there's one available via your app. If there's not one available, when it gets busy, it'll just uh, show on the app that, you know, this area, it, it'll turn red. It needs dashers, and you can dash now. You can dash immediately. So I didn't, I, I think I scheduled one shift just to see how shift scheduling is. And that was during the day, and there wasn't much action, only, only during lunch. So... Some of that hours uh, are not accurate. I probably made closer to $15 per hour, and then after deduction, it's probably around $10, $12 net. But I think that if you tried to do it, I think you could easily, if you lived in a decent populated area, I think you could make five to $700 a week if you did it full-time. Um, if you did it part-time, I think you can make around $200 per week. And maybe more, maybe less on both of those. Uh, but I think, I think it's still good because I think it's very exciting if you like to drive and if you like constant movement and you, you have extreme flexibility. That's what I love about it. At any time, you can stop dashing as long as you don't have a pending order. You can reject any order even though they are uh, counted against you in your metrics. There's a metrics on what your percentage are you reject. So you're your own boss. You can determine your time. You can cancel a shift. You can schedule a shift. You can dash now. You cannot dash. I love the flexibility and I love to drive. So those two make it exciting for me to do on the side. Again, a full-time career, you would struggle. Uh, but if you had no bills and if you were living a very simple life, you can make it work if you were a hustler. Um, and you had some mental capacity on interfacing with technology and kind of knowing your way to navigate the around because it's not just easy. I delivered pizzas probably about 10, 15 years ago. And when you work in a pizzeria, that's all you sell pizzerias. You have a system design. You have steady customers. And on the weekend, sometimes you have some different customers. When you do DoorDash, you're going to not just a pizza restaurant. You may go to a Mexican you may a restaurant. You may go to an Indian restaurant. You may go to a sushi bar. You may go to Wendy's. You may go to McDonald's. You may go to Starbucks. You're dealing with a lot of different food establishments that have different routines, different food. Sometimes you have to order that food yourself. Sometimes you have to pay for it using your company credit card. So it wasn't like just delivering pizzas where you just sit in a pizzeria and you just wait for them to give you the pizza. You don't never have to order it or anything, and then you're just off to the regular customer. There's more uh, intricacies involved, uh, if I'm saying that right, with door dashing. There's some work involved, uh, but it's doable. Now, don't get scared. I think if you like technology, if you like constant movement, and you like a lot of flexibility, you'll be willing to deal with the trade-offs because if you're not, you don't have to dash. You know, you don't have to accept orders. Now, if you 
never dash and if you never accept orders, then obviously it's not going to work out. The company may deactivate you. Uh, I don't know too much about that yet, but I will make another video after I do a full week of door dashing. Because again, I started last Thursday, I only had four days. The pay periods are Monday through Sunday, and they put your total, your direct deposit in Monday morning. Um, so I only did four days, Thursday through Sunday. I made $192. Uh, I made a total of 11 deliveries, um, worked 19 hours, but some of that was just sitting because I didn't realize how dead it is when it's not lunch or dinner. I'll get better as I go. You'll get better as you go because you'll learn the restaurants. You, you'll learn there will be some regular customers. I've already had two repeat customers. And so you, like everything in life, like every job, after you do it for a little bit while, you get a little bit better, you get more efficient. Uh, you'll learn the ins and outs. Uh, but there's risk involved. Driving is very risky. And there's a lot of moving parts during rush hour, uh, during lunch break, uh, you know, at night, you could be delivering in darkness, uh, and that could be, you know, you got to watch yourself. So there's different things. Sometimes people don't leave proper instructions on the app because everything is done via the phone app. And so the instructions, the map quest. So if someone doesn't enter their address right and GPS will take you to the wrong spot, that happened to me once, they don't put the gate code into their gate where they, they don't give you the right apartment number or you go into an apartment complex and there's different buildings and you don't know which building has apartment number 204. So there's uh, some negative and there's some work. Uh, but again, I think if somebody likes to work independent, because technically, again, you don't work for DoorDash. You are contracted out by DoorDash. You are an independent contractor. When you work for DoorDash, you will fill a W-9 stating that. You don't work for DoorDash. You are contracted work from them. DoorDash is a technology company that enables food delivery. They're not a restaurant. They're not a delivery service. They're a technology company that interfaces between the restaurant and the deliverer, the contractor, and they basically direct orders accordingly. Uh, and so be mindful of that. Uh, so I want to give you some information, share with you. Uh, I still like doing it because it plays to a lot of my strengths, which is I like dealing with smartphones, technology. I like to drive. I have some experience in delivering stuff. Um, and the number one positive thing is the flexibility. Calling your own shots on when you want to work, when you don't. I've accepted all my orders so far. I know some people say don't do that, but um, I want to figure out the method before I get any negative metrics on me. Uh, and I want to try to avoid negative metrics. Um, so I wanted to share information, experience, four days door dashing. I'll do another video a full week and how much I made. Again, I think on a part-time, you could easily make $200 a week and full-time $500, $700 a week if you really hustled, maybe even more, but just some information. Okay, do your research, uh, be safe, and we'll go from there.